This lesson is going to demonstrate how to change hair color. So go ahead and open up Pixlr and say open image from computer. Go ahead and grab the image that you want to use for this project. Now I have been squaring all my images for my before and after gallery so I'll go ahead and click on the rectangular marquee, set the fixed size and change the smaller number to make it a square. I'll go ahead and click down and I want to go ahead and whatever is inside of that square will be cropped out. When you're happy with that, choose Image Crop. Now what you want to do is choose File Save. Name it, I'll call this one Hair1. I'll make sure it's a JPEG and I'll choose OK. Make sure it says .jpg at the end of the file extension and choose Save. And we're ready to change the hair color. This is very similar to changing the eye color that was done in one of the previous lessons. So you want to use the lasso tool and you want to select the hair. It's better to go outside a little bit of the hair than inside because you can always come in and erase that extra information. So with that selected you're going to choose Control C or Edit Copy and then choose Edit Paste or Control V. Go ahead and take the Move tool and move it up and we do need our Layers window so let me bring that over here. It's always good to have that Layers window available. And what you want to do in that Layers window is you can change the opacity and move it until it looks like it's no longer blurry and it looks like it's lined up. Then change the opacity back to 100. Now you don't have to do this, this is one of my habits. So on that layer of the pasted hair, you're going to go to the Adjustment option at the top and you're going to choose Curves. Now in this case, it's interesting, you could experiment with some of these drop down. Notice it makes it a little more red. You could choose red and then move this around to make it even redder. This is one of those things where you're really going to have to get in and just experiment until you're happy with the results. So let's say I want my hair to be this red. I'll say OK. I'm going to go ahead and use the zoom tool to zoom in. And it's obvious I'm going to have to do some cleanup. So I'm going to take the eraser tool and I'll change it accordingly to, at the top if necessary. Maybe I'll choose a bigger brush and I'll come in and start cleaning up on that layer. So if you were to go like that on accident, just do Control Z or Edit Undo. When you think you have everything cleaned up, you could go to View Actual Pixels to get a better picture. And this looks wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. File, Save, and I'll call this one Hair 2. And I am now done with the Hair option. I'm saving it as Hair2.jpg, saving. And this concludes the session on changing hair color using Pixlr. Until next time, you have a fabulous day.